make three layers do ensure that you come across at least three revision of the syllabus and with each revision what you need to do you need to Greetings of the day everyone how are you myself Priyanka Godara maths optional faculty Plutus IS so maths optional is being considered one of the subject which awards you maximum marks into mains exams and that we do find out during our mains mark sheets analysis when we see the mark sheets of toppers and the one who cannot qualify or you can say who cannot make to the final list but if you will see the marks of these people in their optionals then mathematics optional stands out among all the optionals that we do have into UPSC but how you will get that much of marks that remains the supreme question that remains the prime question and for that one answer that everybody would be giving you that is practice practice and practice but nobody tells how to do the practice that is okay that everybody would be telling you practice but how nobody tells you that how to do the practice it is not like that every time you would be doing that lot of question regarding one topic so today I will tell you that how to practice in a systematic manner or you can say organized manner because it is not only mathematics optional that you have to deal with it is not a university exam where you have to deal with mathematics on optional only you have to manage it with your GS paper and that is why this practice should be time bound this practice should be into some organized manner that you should not be over prepared for some of the topics and you should be over this under prepared for some of the topics so the practice should be balanced and the slavers of maths optional is very large very lengthy and that is why you require one of the strategy that would be working out for each and everybody see we do have that thing that everybody do says that the strategy varies from person to person but there are something that is universal and this strategy that I would be telling you is the universal one to practice into maths optional so what you need to do if you would divide we know that in maths optional there are 13 units 13 units and each unit approximately consists of 6 to seven major topics so how much pro practice do you require under one unit if you will consider one unit average is six to seven major topics would be there so under this one what you need to do that out of these six to seven topics you have to collect some of the questions and the strategy says that for each major topic if you will be practicing approximately 100 questions then that is enough 100 questions it is not like that if there are six topics seven topics there are there then you can have have only four to five type of questions and each five type of questions each type of question if you do practice 20 questions out there then that is enough for that thing and <clears throat> these questions can be your past year question papers then these can be your question bank from the standard books if you would be preparing from our optional batches then you must be knowing that I would provide provide I usually do provide to my student a question bank where with respect to each of the topic we provide approximately approximately 40 to 50 questions and that is how you would be having a question bank of 200 to 250 words for each unit and sometimes it the slip if the unit is lengthy one then you do have approximately 1000 questions yes I do provide that much of questions for instance if the example is calculus and real then these number of questions sometimes exceeds as well and if you do practice these one then that is enough but the thing is can you practice 1000 questions into one go no 
that is the biggest mistake that student commits that they start practicing each and every topic and they would like would be like that if we would be practicing a to z questions first i will practice a to z questions of one topic then i would be jumping to the second unit that is the mistake because by the time you would be reaching to the 8th or 9th unit then you would be exhausted and at that time either the time would lapse or your enthusiasm or you can say motivation would lapse that is why do strategize here comes the role of strategy and what you need to do <coughs> do prepare or do partition your practice into layers make three layers do ensure that you come across at least three revision of the syllabus and with each revision what you need to do you need to increase your base system that in first topic if you are covering this much that is 20 10 questions or 20 questions because first time the questions would be easier one the starting question of any topic that remains easier one so in first go you have to cover 20 question in second go go for next extra 10 questions 20 plus 10 already you have practiced 10 20 questions so it would not take your time it would not take your much of the time you would devote in the second iteration for next 10 questions and in the next or final round you can wind up or you can add up 10 questions more so that is how by the third round of the practice what you will be doing you will be practicing 40 questions and that is enough for any type of the topics that would be covering each and every type of the questions that would be appearing into your exam so follow this strategy this is how you would be practicing and it would be one of the practical one approach to approach the mathematics optional okay thank you and see you in the next video we will continue this series of tips and tricks into mathematics optional so do analyze do ap apply this approach and that would be helpful i hope that thank you